Hello there pretty people of the internet and welcome back to my channel. I am pre-filming a lot of videos so if I have like the same everything in the budget videos, I did it on purpose. I have more styles and more clothes. Ish. So today I'm going to do a very quick wrap up of the books I read in the month of March. So I think the first book I finished in the month of March was The Sun is Also a Star by Nicola Yoon. I think I finished it like the day after I published my January and February reading wrap up. So I was very frustrated that I couldn't include it in that. But yeah, I did it the day after, I think. This was like a very quick read, very fun, very easy. Um, Nicola Yoon also wrote Everything Everything, which I've read before and which is being turned into a movie as we speak, unless it's like in theaters already. Um, but it's coming out soon, which is exciting. I think I gave the book four to five stars. Easy read, fun. I don't feel like I've learned a lot more about my life. Like, it's not my favorite book. The next book I read was the script for Fantastic Beasts and Where to Find Them by J.K. Rowling. Rowling. Um, I watched the movie twice already. I absolutely loved it. The script, it was the script. So it was just everything that was in the movie. I quite enjoy reading scripts and plays. Um, I don't know, it's just fun because, especially for this one, I've seen the movie. So I sort of like, I don't use my own imagination, but I see things as they happen and I still laugh at the same parts. Um, I still get like scared and upset. Um, so yeah. Also, the cover is just absolutely gorgeous, which is why I had to buy it. What was really fun is that I think two days after I finished reading the script for Fantastic Beasts, my two friends and I went to Warner Bros. Is it Warner Bros? The uh, Harry Potter studio tour outside London. And we met Eddie and Dan, the people playing Newt Scamander and Jacob. Oh, I can't remember his name now. That's so awkward. <laughs> um, the two main guys, basically. Um, the actors were there, so we got to take pictures with them and talk to them, interact with them, which was amazing. I will insert some pictures as I talk because I like to brag about it because it was a very special day. Like, the whole studio tour was absolutely amazing, but that just, like, topped it. And that never happens. These were the first people to come and actually, like, take pictures with people at the filming location. Uh, so yeah, we met them in the Great Hall and took pictures and it was just mind-blowing. Uh, they were so sweet, so kind, and we were the last people in line so they kept like chatting with us and having a great time. And I got all sobby and I was like, thank you for making this my childhood and, and everything with it a reality and for being so honest and hardworking and whew, yeah. I was very moved. It was great. I'm very happy. Okay, tangent over. Moving on to the next book. I think the next book I read was How to Win Friends and Influence People by that guy. Um, very famous book. Um, it's sort of more like a self-help type book, but not really, about how to communicate with people, how to get your, your want. And it's really interesting because the book is like, 50, 60, 70 years old or something. And basically everything it says is the baseline for every other book on on the topic out there. Of course, there's like new information and scientific proof now, but it's still very much just the same. Also, this book had fucking clickbait. Like the titles were clickbait, but it's 70 years old. It was just very fascinating. Overall, I found it to be a book that could be a poster, um, but it was still interesting. Now, now I have read it, so I can cross that off my bucket list. And I think I gave it like a 3 out of 5 stars or something. Probably. So the next book I read was The Roth and the Dawn by Renee Edith? Edie? I think her name is. I can't remember. Anyways, The Roth and the Dawn. And... It was great. I had a lot of fun reading it. I read it in like no time because it's just very fast paced book. Um, very big font which was nice so I could read it without my glasses on. Ooh. I can't remember 
any of the names of the people in the book, so I'm just gonna call them with their by their titles. Basically, it's about this woman who volunteers to marry the the king of kings in her town, and um, she's doing this to get revenge on her best friend, who was married to him prior because he is marrying tons of women from the town, but every morning, so the day after the, their wedding, they are all getting killed off. And her best friend was killed, so she's sort of trying to get back at him, marry him, find his weaknesses, and then kill him. And one of the ways she sort of prolongs getting killed is by telling him these these tales every single night. So she will tell him a story, and then he will be too incaptivated to, to want to kill her off, and then she will continue the next night. At least that's how it starts. Oh! I kicked my Peter. Oops. At least that's how it starts, because it qu quite quickly escalates and becomes like a whole different story on its own, uh, with tons of different side characters that are all interesting and have their own stories and lives that are getting tied into this woman's. Overall, I thought the writing was good. It wasn't great, but it was very interesting, and I can't wait to read the next one. I think I gave it like four out of five stars, three out of five stars. Um, I will still read the second half because I thought it was very funny, very interesting, but it wasn't like the prime writing. Like I've definitely read better writing. And there were a few cliches in it which I'm like so over in like YA and YA fantasy and whatever, but still, I'm gonna finish this one. And the last book I read was The Invention of Wings by Sue Monk Kidd. I will have a review of this book up in probably a few days. So I won't say much more about it now, except that I really loved, loved it. Um, this is more like historical fiction for adults, as compared to a lot of the YA I've read this month. Um, beautiful, powerful, just great. Yeah, just watch out for my review of this one if you want to know more about it. Anyways, thank you guys so much for watching. And let me know what book you were the proudest to read this month, like something you've been putting off, like a big book, something you just didn't think you would finish, just anything. Make sure you like, comment, and subscribe if you want to. I'm also on Twitter and Instagram, I will leave those handles down below. I'm not super frequent on Instagram because I don't take good pictures, but I'm quite funny on Twitter, like I think I'm funny. Whatever. So. <laughs> Do what you want with that information. Okay, thank you guys so much for watching and I will talk to you guys later. Bye!